Hi there and welcome to another video from Hegarty Math. It's Mr Hegarty here and we're doing a Decision Maths A-Level video on linear programming. It's the third video so far in the series. Now, it's the third video of skills I'd like you to be able to do uh, and the next video will actually start and going through a typical problem. But for now, I'd like us to be able to do the following. If I asked you on an axis to draw uh, the straight line 30x plus 50y is c, um, and where c is some constant, okay, that's not given to you as a number, right? So um, this would end up being a straight line, and there'd be several of them, but I want to be, you to be able to draw uh, straight lines that would match uh, that uh, form there. So that's a little skill we're going to need to be able to solve these problems. So let's have a go at these. Here's my first example. They give you um, the axes you need, and, and you would need to be able to draw a straight line of the form 3x add 2y is equal to some constant c on here. You would be able to, you need to be able to see what those straight lines look like. Now here's what you do. You look at the 3 and the 2, the coefficients in front of the x and the y, and you think of a number that um, 3 and 2 uh, go into. Okay, or well, you think of a multiple of three and two, and I'm thinking of six. Okay, now you let that constant be the multiple of three and two, or like some uh, something that three and two both go into. So you could let it be six. The problem is you're going to end up getting a tiny x and a tiny y you can't sketch on this graph. So why not let c be something like 60? So what we're going to try and draw is 3x plus 2y is equal to 60. Now, the good thing about this is, if you let x be 0, then 2y is equal to 60, so y must be 30. And if you let x, or y be equal to 0, on the other hand, you have 3x is 60, so x must be 20. So they're perfect because they fit on the axes we've got, because the axes are going up in 10. So we can plot 0 with 30 there, and we can plot 20 with 0 here, and this straight line is of the form that we're looking for. Okay, So in particular, that straight line there is the straight line 3x plus 2y is equal to 60, but it's allowed us to see how all the other lines look. And how do we know that? Well, the gradient is always uh, going to be the same. It's just where we cross the axes is different. This 60 determines how where we cross the axes. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you where all the other ones uh, would look. So if we get a ruler, and you can do this if you're drawing several of them, you can get your ruler in line with that first easy line you found, and anything along this line here would be a perfect example. For example, um, let's have a look here. Let's make sure we get this perfect. That's about right. So something like that would also be a perfect line there. Okay, so all of those, anything along there is going to be of the form 3x add 2y is equal to a constant. Okay, so this one in general, I could just say this is 3x add 2y is equal to some constant. And we've been able to draw what those uh, uh, straight lines look like. Right, let's have a go at another one. This time we want to draw what 5x plus 6y is equal to constant looks like. So it's an example of one of those and that would help us determine what all of them look like. So we look at the 5 and we look at the 6. We think of a number that 5 and 6 go into or a multiple of 5 and 6. 30 is a good one, but in this case we might use 300 just because the axes are going up in 10s and it might work out better for us. So we try and draw 5x plus 6y is equal to 300. So if we had let x be 0, 6y would be 300, so y would be 50. Similarly, if we had let y be 0, 5x would be equal to 300, so x would be 60. And these are perfect here because we've got 0 with 50, and we've got 60 against 0. And this gives us a really good straight line that is easy to draw on our graph like that. And just like before, if we got our ruler out, Okay, and we put that in line with the one we drew, like something like that. Then anything along here 
would also work. For example, that would work. Anything along here, that, that one would work. Uh, that one would work, etc. Okay, so that is a line of the form 5x add 6y is equal to some constant. And it's something we're going to use to solve these problems in videos uh, in the future. Right, a couple more just to have a go at. What about something like that? This one's really easy because you look at the 2 and the 1 and anything that is a multiple of two, the 2 and the 1 together, a common multiple, so 2 is a good example, but why not pick something, I don't know, like in this case 200 because they're going up in hundreds here. So let's try and draw 2x add y is equal to 200. Now obviously if x was equal to 0, y would clearly be 200. And if y was equal to 0, x would equal 100. So we've got 0 with 200 there, and we've got 100 with 0 there. There's my line. Okay? And um, we're done like that. Right now, we could have picked the exact same thing. I mean, if we didn't go for two hundred, we could have gone for something like uh, could have gone for something like um, six hundred. There's no harm because two and one go into six hundred. So we could have drawn two x plus y is equal to six hundred. And if we had let x be zero, y would be six hundred. And if we had let y be zero, x would be three hundred. And that would have been just as good because we could have plotted th uh, sorry zero against six hundred against three hundred and zero. And you'll see. That this line is parallel to that line. So if you see here, see if I fitted that there. Then well, I haven't quite drawn it right. Let's just let's just improve this slightly. Improve that slightly. Okay, they should be parallel now, and they are. Okay, so that they are lines of the form two x plus y is equal to c. Just take a look here. It was going up in hundreds. That's why I picked a number uh, with hundreds in it. Okay, what about something like this? We're drawing th uh, uh, 30x plus 50y is equal to c. So I'm going to think of something that 30 and 50 go into. Um, and 30 and 50, um, well, they both go into, uh, let's say, um, what do 30 and 50 go into? Well, they're both going to 150. Okay, but that would uh, that would end up our x and our y being very small. So why don't we think of one thousand five hundred? Why don't we say thirty x plus fifty y is equal to instead of one hundred fifty one thousand five hundred? Okay, and then what we can do is we can divide everything through by uh, ten. So we're solving three x plus five y is equal to one hundred fifty, and now it looks similar to what we've had before. If x is zero, y would be equal to thirty. And if y was equal to 0, x would be equal to 50. And you should be able to plot that here. So we've got 0 against 30. Uh, to be honest with you, it's not actually um, quite perfect here because uh, th th it's going to be hard to plot those points here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually, uh, I know that I could have solved that. Instead of doing that, why don't I solve fi get with it 15,000? So that if I divide it by 10, I'm solving 3x plus 5y is 1,500. So if x was 0, y would be 300. And if y was 0, x would be 500. This is going to be a lot easier to plot. 0 against 300 and 500 against 0. That is significantly better improvement. The other one, I would have found it hard to draw. So I've picked one that works out perfectly there. And uh, that's all for this particular video now, so I just wanted to allow you to, to practice that skill. The first three videos now, we've practiced all the skills we're going to need to be able to attempt these problems. So the forthcoming videos are going to be uh, what linear programming is and how to solve them using all these methods we've practiced. Thanks loads for watching.